There are a number of ways in which your students can access your course. For example, your administrator might enrol them for you, or they might be automatically enrolled from outside Moodle, or they might be able to create their own accounts on the Moodle site and enrol themselves into your course. In this video, we'll look at how you, the teacher, can manually add students to your course and how you can find out the other ways in which they can access your course. To do this, we scroll down to the administration block and then click the link users. The two that we are interested in are enrollment methods and enrolled users. Enrollment means how a student gets into your course, whereas authentication means how they get onto the Moodle site. If we as a teacher click enrollment methods, we can see the different ways that they're able to access or be enrolled into your course. The eye is open for manual enrollments. That means that students can be enrolled by the teacher. The one user here is the teacher himself who's already been enrolled. Guest access has its eye closed. So that means that currently no guests can look at the course but the teacher can enable this by opening the eye. Self-enrolment means that users can enrol themselves by clicking a button. This is currently disabled because the eye is closed. Opening it would allow us to allow students to access the course themselves. If we now go back and then look at users enrolled users, this allows us to do two things. In the administration block, users, enrolled users, we can see the list of who is already enrolled in the course, currently just the teacher. If there are a lot of users, we can search for them by using the search box at the top. And we can also filter this by the different ways in which they've been enrolled and by the role which they have in the course. To enroll users manually, we click the enroll users button and then we can choose the role that we want. Currently, it's set at learner or student. As a teacher, we don't normally have the right to enrol other teachers into our course. We would have to ask permission to do that. We then scroll down and choose the user that we want. So for example, to enrol Sam student, we click the enrol button. And then we can scroll down and finish enrolling users. So this is fine if you just have a few users to enrol into your course. However, if you have many, it might be worth investigating other ways of allowing them access.